Check it. Customized pins, wise men, I'm tied in. The environment I'm in, it's like a lion's den. I'm tied right into the thigh lift. I run with the climate, pull the climate. Hi, my name is Anil Nair, and I'm an aerospace engineering student here at UCLA. And I'm going to help you by going over some math concepts and examples. Good luck. We're going to do some examples for the kernel and image of a linear transformation. So for our first example, we have a matrix A, um, 2, 3, 6, 9. And we're asked to find the kernel and the image of A. So the kernel is the set of all vectors that the linear transformation defined by this matrix uh, maps to 0. So the kernel is any vector x that maps to 0. So The way we find the kernel is we look for all x and y for this is, for which this holds, and uh, the way we solve this is by row reduction. And add r one by two. And we can subtract from R2, 6 of R1, and we get 1, 3 halves, 0, and 0, 0, 0. So this tells us that um, if x plus 3 halves y equals 0, then um, the vector is in the kernel. So x equals negative 3 halves y, y equals y. We can parameterize this. Um, let's say that x, y has to equal 3 halves um, times 1, y. Um, can also just say t is our parameter. T goes from infinity to negative infinity. And this is the same thing as saying that um, the kernel, and this is the kernel, okay. The kernel of A equals the span of this vector here, because it's all scalar multiples of that vector. So span of negative 3 halves, 1. So there's our kernel. And um, it has a dimension 1. And if we wanted a basis for our kernel, um, let's say beta is the basis for the kernel, but beta sub k, um, that basis would just be negative 3 halves 1. And um, by the rank nullity theorem, um, if if you haven't watched that video yet, that's okay. Um, we know that since the dimension of the kernel is 1, and the dimension of the target space is 2, because we have a 2 by 2 matrix, the image should have also dimension 1. Let's go ahead and find the image. Um, the image is the set of vectors that the linear transformation maps to. So it's this set right here, whatever this equals. So that's going to be 2x plus 3y and 6x plus 9y. Um, we can also write it like this. Two times. Um, x times the column vector 2, 6, and y times the column vector um, 3, 9. And that means that the image of A equals the span of these vectors. But um, actually, one of these vectors is redundant. Um, this is just the multiple of the other, 
And you can tell that's the case because um, when we found the reduced row echelon form of that matrix, we got only one leading one. So that means the second column is redundant. Specifically, it is three halves times the first column. We took two six multiplied by three halves, we get three nine. So actually, we can write this as the image is the span of two six. You could have also chosen three nine. That doesn't really matter. And we know that this has to be the case because we found by the rank nullity theorem that um, the image has a dimension of one. Now, if we wanted the basis for the image, we'll call it beta sub i. Would we just say the vector two six? Fuck I